Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on this vintage Matchbox Racing Van. Cool, right? Check this thing out. Check out the Chevy Racing Van Matchbox Edition. Very cool and vintage. I like this thing. So today we're going to do a restoration on this bad boy. I got a box in the mail from subscriber Patton. Awesome dude, long time subscriber. He sent in a bunch of cool things. And a lot of them are off-road related. We got sent in two of these off-road vans. One of them we're going to restore like these with factory wheels. Just because these are humongous wheels and you don't want to just throw those in the garbage, man. Look at those things. Brrr, like monster truck tires. I really like this van. Back in the day, Matchbox made a lot of cool, cool things. Let me show you another one. This one isn't from Patton. This is one of mine. I haven't done anything to it because the, the cab is crushed in one area here unfortunately so she's a little bit crushed and cracked and it's kind of a cool little truck as it is as aspen ski holidays you know i like this thing me i just like seeing it around i feel the same way about this matchbox van i figure we'll restore this one and i think i'm gonna paint the graphics on today we'll do some stencils for the lettering the matchbox logo and the little bf goodrich down at the bottom I'll do that with decals, but I think the, the main color patterns here, I'm going to just try to paint and color match. So that's what we're getting into today, so um, uh, let's get started. Uh, let's see, let's Jared drill a bit to get the job done. Not quite. And you're a good man, Patton, for sending in some cool projects. We got a little Chevy Blazer. We have a couple other little things too. So I'm looking forward to um, working on all these projects. I love that this thing has blue glass. Keeps that vintage vibe. These things are built for taking some jumps. See that? You gotta drill more rivets just to get these wheels out of there. Look at these big meats, man. These are sweet. These ones are pretty messed up. I have another pair that are in better shape than these ones, but I am gonna save these. Maybe Andy could print me some new hubcaps or something that I could just glue to them. Wouldn't that be interesting? I don't know, I might be able to restore them somehow. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at this little van. All right, so notice how the arch on this paint isn't nicely rounded. I don't know if I should recreate it like that or do it nicely. If I was gonna do decals, I'd probably just copy it 100%, but since we're painting, maybe we could make this thing nice. Get it tighter to those wheel wells, that might look a little bit better. I'm gonna have to get some good photographs. I'm not sure what this paint is up in here. I didn't think there was anything on the roof, but I guess these stripes must start up there, so. And I'm also gonna have to make a couple of decals, just the Matchbox logo and the BF Goodrich, so I'll do that a little bit later. It only takes a few minutes. So I guess we could strip the paint off of these too, and we'll get this thing going here. Yes. Eh. You guys gotta see what Andy's been working on. It's getting out of control. He's been 3D printing all his corners for the racetrack. He's got a lot of the same track material that 3D Bot Maker has, like that wide track. This isn't gonna be normal racing. It's not gonna be like 3D Bot Maker at all. It's gonna be pretty hilarious watching cars race down there because the, the object of the game is to get points for hitting things, but to also get down to the bottom of the mountain. So if that piques your interest at all, be sure to jump into the description quickly and subscribe to the other page. So we want more of a track that, you know, the average person could watch. Not just like an avid, you know, diecast enthusiast, but like, you know, just a regular person who's like, oh man, did you see that thumbnail with that plastic cow that's flying through the air? You know, stuff like that. It's going to be funny. I can't wait. But yeah, he's been making mad progress on his tracks and um, all the corners and stuff he's been working on, designing his own stuff. All right, this one's looking pretty good. 
Man, someone must have been pretty nice to this thing. As soon as the paint got worn off it, they probably stopped playing with it or something because it barely even has any bumper car dents. All right, this thing's looking pretty clean. I'm probably going to go give it its final cleanup and then we'll do a coat of white on here and I'll put a little bit of clear coat. While I'm there, I'll probably do this black and get some clear coat on this as well. I think I might want a chrome grill, you know? That might be cooler. I had a 1980 Chevy, so I'm kind of partial to these grills with the, uh, the round headlights. So I'll head to the paint booth. I'll put some white on here and some clear coat. And then maybe I'll come back and polish this while this is drying in the paint oven, okay? So I got our van. Our van is back from paint. It's still hot. I can feel my hemostats here are toasty, so I'm giving it a few minutes to cool. But we'll probably try do the painting on this first before we do our decals. So I'm just going to set these to the side for now. And we will get ready to start doing some taping on this. I guess I'll use this terrible little stand again. I hate this thing. There we go. I'm just going to start taping. That logo should be straight. Their little machine must have been... A little bit cockeyed that specific stamp so this is gonna be tricky I want my paint to go all the way to the bottom rather than it to look like a little tampo. I think it's going to be nicer if it's just looks like real paint. I mean it is real paint. It should look better than their little tampo stamper they got going on over there. You guys don't realize how hard this stuff is to do on camera. You don't even realize, man. That little arch, doing that in tape with clear coat on it, man, that would be real tough to tape that little edge. But this vinyl, these little vinyl pieces are extremely valuable. For doing stuff like this couldn't live without it I should be getting one of those vinyl cutters in the next uh, I don't know probably next month we're gonna buy one for the channel and I'm gonna be making multiple layer masks for doing graphics so that should be exciting you guys ever paint your own tampos back on <laughs> leave me a comment I want to hear about it if you do What's the most crazy tampo you guys have recreated? This is my craziest. This is the first time I've actually painted a tampo back on. But, you know, I gotta get back in shape for the channel here, and so I need to do this stuff anyways. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna mask the other side. I'm not gonna film it though, because it's gonna be way quicker if I just do it. 
But I plan to spray our orange and then we'll peel off the other side, cover the orange and then spray that kind of uh, maroonish color and then hopefully we have a nice tampo. Okay, let's have a look at some of this here. Beautiful. Beautiful, that's what we want, a nice crispy line. Beauty, you see how I had to stuff them little windows? Hopefully that ends up looking okay. Beautiful. So now we can tape off our orange. I'm going to give this a little bit of time to dry first. So it's dry to the touch already, but I got to give it a little bit of extra time if I'm going to tape on it. This Createx paints are pretty forgiving for taping, so I don't got to worry about it too much, but hopefully we have no issues. So I'll give this a few more minutes. We'll just uh, cover up our orange and then we'll go spray that red. Hell yeah. Alrighty, that's looking great. I'm getting ready to just do some decals here. So, gotta get everything cut out. Hopefully everything fits. Looks like it's gonna be alright. That should be everything we need. All this stuff is spares. Just get this stuff out of frame so it looks like I'm, I'm organized. I'm not a complete mess. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. Actually, I'm gonna use some micro set this time which pretty much smells like vinegar. Matchbox racing, here we come. Come on, baby, let me move you around a little bit. Move you around a little bit. Okay, let's get BF good rich. Hell yeah, dude, look at that thing. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty fancy. All right. Matchbox. Well, it's a fancy van, eh? Hey, I'm Canadian. Alrighty then. <clears throat> I'm gonna go throw this back in the oven. And I'm just gonna let all the water and stuff evaporate from this. And then I'm gonna clear coat. Actually, I shouldn't paint the base. I'm not ready to paint the base. I'm just gonna go clear coat this and I'll be right back. Thanks again for Patton for sending in all this stuff. What a good guy. You'll see more of his cars coming up. He's got all kinds of cool ones. There's like a, there's like an OJ Bronco. <laughs> Can I call it that? Let's call it an OJ Bronco. Sweet, scratches are now taken care of. We'll switch over to 2000 grit. And I'm gonna be able to polish 2000 grit scratches out no problem
So I'm about ready to do an assembly here. These were the best factory wheels that I had and they even needed a few little touch-ups, so they're not too bad. We're gonna roll them. Just did some mild little details on there. Base is looking better than ever. Nice and shined up, polished and waxed. Here's our glass. I did a quick little polish on that as well. So allow me to do a quick assembly here and then I will introduce the new and improved Matchbox Racing Van. Give me one second, please. <laughs> Bro, this thing turned out really nice. Let's get it up on the rotisserie. So what do you guys think of this little beauty, hey? We're gonna add that to the van collection because we need one. I think it turned out great. No complaints. I gotta get some large wheels like this on order maybe so that I can do some some more customizing, especially on the other Matchbox van we have. It's got a plastic base, so I don't care about it as much, but since this one was a metal base, I really wanted to go the extra mile to make sure it was a nice clean restoration. So I think the paint and everything turned out really nice. I'm pretty happy with it. Check out our glass up top. All those dirty scratches are gone. Yeah, man. Just a nice clean little, nice clean little van. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It helps the channel if you leave a like. Take the time to check that little thing so that I know which videos you guys like. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs> this thing's so sweet.